Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the meeting, uh, the events meeting on this date, the Monday, the 10th of January. So the first thing on the agenda is uh, the welcome, which we've, we've all done. Happy New Year to everybody. Apologies. Um, so we've received apologies from Councillor Cornish, Councillor Mann and Councillor Lord. Thank you. Thank you very much. Declarations of interest. There are none. So uh, the next one is minutes to approve um, that the minutes are correct from the last meeting. Can I have a, a mover and a second, please? So, yeah, wh whichever way you want. So you're moving and you second them. Thank you. See, so this is good. Number five, uh, public forum. There are no members of the public present. Are already on the last thing? No, thank you. Now we move on to Easter in Cone 2022. Nathan? So we've started working on Easter in Cone already. Um, we've, I've been contacting um, everyone that's been involved. So far, we've got the donkeys confirmed. Um, we've got the face paint confirmed, we've got the fun fair confirmed, um, and we've got the brass band confirmed as well as the Morris dancers. Um, everyone else has been emailed and I'll chase them up um, over the next week or so. Um, and we've also got a returning sponsor um, for the event and we've also got a small number of stalls already booked on um, and we'll obviously get more over the next couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, so yeah, far Easter's going well. Can we um, name the sponsor, please? Um, the sponsor is Farmhouse Biscuits. Farmhouse Biscuits in Nelson. Always really good. Thank you very much. Um, just for councillors, um, yeah, sorry, Mary. Um, <clears throat> can I just ask whether there's been like any competitions like Easter egg painting or maybe Easter bonnets? You know that the public that you know the children can do so on this one we also do an egg hunt on that day which i'm in the process of passing over to nathan and we do the school's egg competition as well so we are writing to the schools we had to wait for them to get back after christmas to say would you like to do it and how many eggs would you like and they're always displayed in the library so we're doing those as well just for just following on from that uh, I, was, I was stopped uh, about three weeks ago, or no, just before Christmas, uh, by a family and the young man uh, won the under eights uh, and he, he wished to thank me. So it, it does work and it is remembered uh, and, and it's, it's children's memories that last forever. So it's a good idea and long may it last. Just ask, maybe a silly question, but are they real eggs or... Yeah. The eggs are their pictures which are displayed then in the library. We average between, well, a minimum, you're <coughs> looking about 900 entries. Um, I think last year was something like 1,000, not last year, year before, whenever we last did it, was about 1,100 and something like 17. So those go out to the schools. We ask how many they want and get them all out. A bit like we do for the Halloween one with the pumpkins, same principle. Just in relation, it took uh, myself and the mayoress you know, two hours <laughs> to, to go around them all. And some of them were extremely good. So uh, it's, a, it's a wonderful event. And, you know, I, I say I'm wrong, Mary, it last. Any more questions, sir? Yeah. 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 Uh, okay, moving on to item seven. The Queen's Jubilee. I'll leave it to the officers. So with the Queen's Jubilee, um, so far we've got the donkeys confirmed, we've got the face paint confirmed, um, we've got the Morris dancing confirmed in the fun fair. Uh, I've emailed 
two brass bands, so we've got live entertainment throughout the day, and we've also got <coughs> first aid confirmed. Um, again, we've got a small number of stalls booked on already um, for that event. The, we are looking at whether the council want to put a road closure in place for that event or not. Um, and we will be looking if we can get a decision um, tonight, if possible. Yeah. It isn't felt necessary for this event because it is slightly smaller and it's felt that the car parks will be appropriate, but it was just on whether the councillors are happy with that. Any, any comments from the council? Do you want the roads shut or do we want you to use the car park as per normal? Use car park as per normal. Car park, car yeah. park. Yeah. yeah, all the green you're using the car park. If Yeah. Well, sorry, I thought I thought I had. Uh, I assume that by then the testers will have gone off the one at the corner of Skipton Road. Yeah, crossing legs, toes, and everything. Um, so we could always move something onto that, or. Yeah. But I think. Yeah. To, I don't think I don't think it would warrant no. shutting the main. It's, it's been based on the same numbers for Easter for that event as you'd have for the Jubilee, which isn't the smallest of events you do, but it also isn't the largest. So it was a, a nice middle one. So Are we going to have um, like Union Jack bunting? I mean, I know a lot of uh, towns are having street parties and such like. We've got meters and meters and meters of bunting, which will be put up all over the gazebos and things. And we we're also talking about giving some to the businesses if they'd like some too. So yes, we're gonna, and I believe that the bid we're talking about doing something that weekend as well. Um, but they're not here, so I can't confirm that one. Okay. okay. Can can we can we get a message to the bid? Sorry. We will send out the full list of dates to you because it's the Thursday that's a bank holiday for it. I can't remember. It's uh, Thursday, the 2nd of June. Yeah, it, 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 2nd, 3rd, 4th, and 5th of June. So, so it's a long weekend, like Friday and Monday off. Yeah, well, yeah. um, for, for that event, the council event is on the Thursday. So that meant that, because there is talk of other people doing other things throughout the weekend. So the hope is that there will be something throughout the weekend organised by various people. So. Can we write a letter or speak to the bid uh, and get the information for this event as soon as possible? It's already in discussion. And then we can um, get the, um, the information out there. Yep. It's not too far away. I know it seems so in June, but it's not that far away. Any more questions on the Queen's Jubilee? No. I'm assuming that the parish church might do something as well. I think all the churches are doing something. Okay, thank you very much. Item number eight, the Kong Grand Prix. Officers? Um, so with the Grand Prix, uh, we've already got um, a sponsor for that event. We've got um, Coalition Facilities Management, who are a returning sponsor. Um, myself and the town clerks got a meeting at the end of Jan um, with a couple of other returning sponsors to see if they'd like to obviously sponsor the event. Um, so far for that event, we've got the first aid uh, confirmed um, and we've also got a meeting at the end of January with um, the Grand Prix group um, which will obviously start then getting everything in place ready for that event which um, the date's been confirmed by British Cycling for Tuesday the 26th of July. We request Tuesdays if possible because it's early closing, so it has less effect on town. It's also very nicely in the summer holidays, so you don't have school traffic. <laughs> That's good, and I'm going only three days after. That's right, three days after. That's okay. So, any more questions on... Uh, on Can I just say, I, I don't know what you're doing or why you're doing it, but getting sponsors to come back is a, is a task in itself, so well done. Uh, to the team for getting these sponsors back and getting them on board. Much appreciated from, well, from me as a person and me as a councillor. So well done, team. 
Any more questions on the just, Grand Prix? Just again, clarification. I assume the, the Grand Prix group is British Cycling and Cycling yeah. Northwest, and yeah. Who so it is. It's the the British Cycling rep, the uh, Pendle Forest, not Pendle Forest. It's the ones who've always done it with us before. Um, yeah. So they work as like liaising things. So to make sure that this is handed over to me before the end of this month as well. Oh, there's any more questions from Zoe Mary? Um, we had that Fort Vale was our a big sponsor last yeah. time. Are we? I can't. We're not currently able to name any of these sponsors because nothing's confirmed. Okay. <laughs> Are there any more questions about the Grand Prix? Happy days. Moving on. Halloween in Cole. Officers. Um, so for Halloween, we've got the face painting confirmed, we've got the first aid confirmed, um, we've got the Morris dancers confirmed and the fun fair. Um, we've, I've emailed the library to see if they'd be interested in doing crafting activities um, for Halloween like they did last year. Um, and we've got a small number of stalls booked on for that event um, already as well. Um, but so far for Halloween, <coughs> that's it really. Are there any questions for Halloween? Just a oh. comment that the crafts were enjoyed greatly by uh, my two uh, granddaughters who came away with arms full of crafts. That's what we want to eat. All good. This is all a measure of the, uh, of the officer's capability to get this organised and get them in, in, into fruition. Well done. Again. Okay, moving on, uh, item 10, Remembrance Sunday. Officers? So, um, I've emailed the brass band ready for Remembrance. Um, I've also completed the road closure application, but it's not been submitted <coughs> as of yet. Um, we have got a meeting with um, the British Legion at the end of this month to discuss plans um, for remembrance and I've also started already looking at a marching band to see if we can get one try to get in there a little bit early yeah. um, and as, if I can get one great but I'll uh, keep trying for that one so can we pencil in uh, um, uh, pencil in the the quad bag if needed and we make sure that's available if needed yeah that's not a problem um, Another thing that, that, that was was mentioned, um, the PA system is a good system, but some of the people just can't hear it right at the back. They're struggling to hear the actual words. So can we, uh, in some way, uh, put a speaker further up, further out, louder, or, or whatever? We're looking at investing it, it, in a bigger system. Yeah, okay. So we're looking at investing, and you think the looking into the bigger system will come to fruition before the... The, the parade. End of this financial year. <laughs> um, yeah, we, so we was looking at a, a bigger sound system. We, we'll have it before the end of this financial year. So we'll have it um, way in advance before Remembering Sunday. Okay, are there any other people who want to ask a question? Howard, you've been, you've been prompted, so... <laughs> well, I'm, I'm being prompted because the chair of the council was nobbled by, and I've forgotten his name, Flight Lieutenant yeah, yeah. Diddly Diddly, yeah. um, to say that the, the, there was a bit of a problem with the, the music because apparently, I, mean, I didn't notice anything, uh, but apparently it, it changed tempo or something. So um, he, he apparently has, can supply, like, not, I think it's just a, yeah. I say I I didn't notice, but he's obviously a professional uh, march. <laughs> I'll um I, I'll just jump in here. <clears throat> the tempo uh, of the music it, it should be uh it, well there's different marches for your different regiments, uh, uh, uh but some of the music it, the tempo does change. However, the speed of the walk down there is governed by the mayor and whoever's accompanying the mayor. So uh, I can't remember his name now, uh, bless him. He, he does a reading at the end. He, he, he can only walk maybe three miles an hour. 
where a normal person walks five miles an hour. So it, it, no matter what the music is playing, the pace will always be to the slowest man in front. And um, me personally, as a military person, I also look behind me. And if, if they're, they're, they're bunching up, then we, we do something. If they're stranging out, then we do something. So it's, um, you know, we, 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 can, we can get around the music quite easily. And they'll have to walk at the person in front's pace. Yeah, but well, he, he was saying that he had better music and he gave and but the british legion used some other gave gave the council some different music it, and it he wasn't said, the british legion it was uh, the um the previous sorry if i may yeah it was the music was actually provided, the music was actually provided for us by the previous parade marshal who had has done it for years sort of thing so we could only go on what we were given on it but we will look into it for next year and make sure but if neil's but if we have a van next year then then it solves the problem i mean it did bunch up very much it was yeah. ridiculous yeah. you know they were that, like yeah. In, 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 yeah in uh in previous times as we, as we did the light switch up uh the parade that parade it, it's the same sort of thing the the individuals try to come around and and it's all it's all Every every unit, every veterans or the uh, the VIPs or the councillors, so it should be somebody in front of them that directs them to slow down or, or speed up. But that that's an issue we can solve quite easily. But an issue that is an issue, and we will solve it for next time. Thank you for bringing that up. And, and can I just mention that the vicar had to had to um, chop something out because we didn't because we were going so slow we didn't get down to the. Yeah. So what we will do nearer the time, uh, we'll invite the parade marshal uh, uh, to come and, and sit here on the events committee and go through it with him uh, and, and, and ensure that he's done. That was his first time he's done it. Uh, and in my view, he did it really well. He was very nervous, only, only a, a, young, a young officer, but um, very well, very well sought out and very well rehearsed. But we, these are only little, little small things, uh, but we can get around them quite easily. It was him that brought it up, so yeah. you know he was he knew he was concerned that it wasn't just right. Yeah. So I'm sure it will be. Yeah, well, that was his first time. So yeah. I think next yeah. time he will overcompensate, and we'll get down there five minutes too early. But that's all. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were walking down together, weren't we, Mary? And we, we felt like we were getting crushed at one time if they had a bit more space between yeah. the, the groups but we managed but we, we, like i say uh, I, 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 I see him quite regularly so i mentioned it in time in time but what we'll do is we'll um, quite easily we'll have a steward in between the mayor the councillors the veterans and and the scouts so we'll have a steward in between so they they will marshal them i know what you're saying because it happened on the um on the light switch on um the vips were being overtaken by 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 so um yeah it, it's something we can solve and it's been brought up it is a it is an issue and we will sort it thanks again are there any more on the room on sunday happy days we now move on to item 11 christmas in cone officers um so You've been presented with a report to consider the health and safety requirements for Christmas in Colne um, in regards to the road closure. Um, it is recommended by um, myself to keep it in place how it has been done um, previously um, to create that safe sterile event space um, up for Christmas in Colne. Okay, I'm, I'm ready yet. So, any any questions on it? I assume yeah. that we close both lanes, isn't it? Yeah. So there is two closures in place for this event. One is for the daytime, which is the top end of town, from eight a.m. till ten p.m. For the parade itself, it is done from five p.m. till six p.m., and that is both carriages from the Crown up. So the proposal by officers is that that is what we what the council apply for for next year's event. The, your new events officer has plans to bring in more live entertainment during the day so that space can be used 
more and take more adventure. Obviously, this year, unfortunately, you had a little storm that slightly scuppered a few things. However, it's felt that <coughs> we have tried closing this road later in the day and trying to stop traffic mid throw at flow at half two, three in the afternoon on a Saturday. I'll be honest, I had to do it and I was millimeters off getting run over. So it's something that it's been reviewed, it's been looked at by in relation to our insurance, in relation to experience of the event, and that is the recommendations of his report. Okay. I, I, I can understand um, certain I'm to, gripes from certain individuals, um, but I think it's the right thing to do because it it was even obvious on um, Remembrance Sunday that people were trying to, you know, well, it may even have been the night time as well. Drivers w were trying to bypass the, the, the road closure um, because they couldn't get out onto the bit of Albert Road they wanted to, or Church Street that they wanted to. So they were nipping down to another street and trying to come out. So I think trying to close the main bit, well, it's in traffic, it'd be damn nigh impossible. Um, but I think we shouldn't take this year as an example because it was just, um, you know, if, if we'd have known what the weather was going to be like at two o'clock, um thing, things could have happened but i mean i know the um naomi probably knows it better than um some some of the um dancers morris dancers um came out because it was dry and then it was wet and then it was dry so they did it under the canopy in the it's the thing we're up against is the weather and we can't we can't order that we just got to live with it best we can. And I think um, the fact that um, Nathan and Gina took the decision to, well, and, sorry, and Eugene, to not put the um, market up was, was the right um, decision. It was, it was pretty horrendous that, that, that yeah. Um, it, well, it was, I got yeah. wet on at least two occasions. Um, so Nathan for this has looked at previous events. He's obviously spoken to me as your previous event officer and we've gone through it and he's gone through all the risk assessments and it is deemed that that is the sensible, safer option. And we all want to believe that we'll have good weather. Well, in the, I've done three prior to being here. And we've always been able to run that market. So one in four, it, your likelihood is you won't have a storm and therefore it's easier. And with actually closing the road and not putting it on the car park, you still have access to every one of the car parks except the one in Hartley Square for the whole day. So you're still enabling parking in the town while being able to run a large event. So, and you're right, credit to them for making the decisions on that day. They, they did a really good job, and I'm proud of them. Are there any more questions before I, I just add my little bit? Okay, so in the end, I've done events for myself for, well, over 20 years. I, I, I helped run the Cone Gala, and that's exactly the same cause, trying to come out with his possession going up the road and nipping around the corner and knocking bollows over. I twice have been nearly run over. Um, so it, it's just one of those things, impatient people, want to get somewhere, it's fully signed, everybody knows it's happening and they still try and go around it. So it's just one of them things that we have to deal with. Any serious accidents that, that will or it will occur eventually because it's a, it's a numbers game. Um, then obviously with the road being closed, they will be prosecuted for you know, the full extent of the law. Um, but other than that, we don't want anybody hurt and reference the market. It is uh, the responsibility of the events manager to deem whether it's fit or unfit to put on. 
if the events manager at the time and date decides it is a no-go, then it is a no-go and he has or she has the full backing of the council. So it, it was a, a, right, a right decision to not put it on. It did um, upset quite a lot of people. But uh, I'd rather have a hundred upset people than people being hit with a, a steel marquee. So, you know, so well done for your decision and it was a right one. Thank you very much. Any more okay. comments? In regards to the closure, you need a proposal and a second and a vote on it. Okay, so can I have a proposal for the road closure? I'll move that we do the road closure as we did. A state, yeah. 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 The, the, the one in the afternoon and then the one, the hour one and six there. Can I have a second there? Thank you. Proposal and a second there. Thank you very much. Everybody wants yeah, we're all happy with that. And one last thing, the extra provision of zinc baths and buckets was much better. Even though it, it's people, isn't it? There were one or yeah. two that Well no no not that. The, on the bucket didn't mm. uh. yes, it, 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 when we have a when you have a mass event, you just got to just adapt to everything, go with the floor. People are people. Um, I, I say I've known events for 20 years, and it, if there isn't a problem in any event, then well, I'm going to unheard of. There's always something. It, it's the way that it's handled and the way that it's put over it, it, that, that is, is the matter, is, is the, um, the upper hand. We had, uh, <laughs> we had 22 minute, minutes to fill in because, uh, and well, you was there, weren't you? 22 minutes to fill in. And I know I'm good and I try to be funny, but 22 minutes is a lifetime. So I think next time we'll have a row of, of songs we can play if, if anything happens. So we'll, <laughs> we'll do that. But it went well. Everybody, everybody agreed it went well. <laughs> if we get the pantomime next time, then we, we need to ensure that they're going to be on stage for 30 minutes. Uh, I know. Well, yeah, but it wasn't so if we if we do plan b as in we have a, a bit more music or a bit of sing-along music the, in, and i take it you you will you need my services on that on that night um we will yeah if you're available yeah well i'll make myself available once we know we can have a plan b then it won't, it won't look as as um as long any more questions on the cotton Kong christmas in Kong? thank you very much the update from the bid, and the bid is not here at this moment in time. Um, okay, um, can you can we ensure that she's at, uh, there or at the next meeting? Can I suggest perhaps we write? Sorry. Can, can I suggest that we write to them and say, look, we had this meeting. Yeah, we, we need somebody attending. Yeah, but if if we can just say, you know. It, it, it's important if you're not coming, at least you can give us a, an, update. An, update, yeah. a, an update. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I think we have to do it sensitively, not well, you didn't come, so we. I, I actually agree because some of these events, the bid will be helping on. So we need their input as well. So can we, can we do that? Right. So that's the bid done. 13 items for future month's agenda. Has any of the councils any ideas? In relation to events. <laughs> yeah. So what I have heard through the grapevine uh, is, is um, a sort box race. Is that bid. the bid? The bid again. So this is what I mean. They want to put the sort box race on this year, 2022. Uh, so we need we need to know when, what, where, how much, and, and that sort of thing. What help they need from us? So. Um, we need that information as soon as possible, and we need a date so we can write to them and ask them if, if it's going ahead and what date it will be and what services we, they require from us. If I may, Jeff. You may. Um, they, from what I remember from a meeting we had prior to Christmas, they are planning on going ahead. I'll be honest, I can't remember the date off the top of my head. <coughs> it is something they're doing with a private group, nothing to do with the council. If they're doing so, it in, if they're doing it within the realms of Kong, we would like then, to. Well, if they're doing it within the realms of Kong, then we will 
need to know. And yes. We will uh, either agree or disagree. They if, if they're coming into, our, into the town, then we need to know exactly what. Yes, we, we're trying to. They were still finalising details. Of, you were there, Council, when, when we last met. They were still finalising details, and we have asked them. So we will ask sensitively, politely again if we can get all the full details so we can report them back. I think that was why we'd put an update from the bid as a standing item. They'd requested it so they could update committee. We need we need them here because it might end up that we both do something on the same day and that's no good, is it, at all? Oh, Us doing one and them doing one. We're getting each other's way, won't we? In, in fact, um, as chairman of this event tonight, I would formally like to request um, a meeting on the events uh, meeting to show us um, um, the project that they're working on and the details of the route and that sort of thing so we, we can have a look at it and uh, help or, or or whatever but if something's happening that big in, in our town the the town council need to know about it and or need to know all the ins and outs I think Nathan needs to know he needs to see the risk assessment and yeah, well, this is what I mean. That's why we need to see it. Thank you. That's 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 a big clear up. So, uh, any more items for um, future events? Okay. Um, are, we, are we doing any more any more markets um, markets in between? Um, so, at the last um, events committee meeting, we agreed to do a monthly market. Uh, working alongside Coal Market, and that'll be the second Saturday of every month from April um, to September. Which I've got a meeting um, this week with uh, Coal Market Manager to discuss further. He, he seems a quite nice fellow and, and very helpful. You know, I don't like him. Is, is a, is a Are there any more questions? Nothing. I know Nathan said he was going to put all the dates. That maybe he can do a round robin to all councillors that these are the dates uh, for market, so we can all bung them in. Because I'm, I'm very um, lapse in. You know, I suddenly remember the week before. Oh dear me, I didn't yeah. put that in. Yeah, well, we can do it monthly. When you can send an email out every month telling him what's on. Yeah. What we'll do as well is we'll put them in the Outlook calendars that you all have um, from your council emails and we'll make sure that the, the reminder on it <coughs> is a week prior to the event so that you get a, a reminder a week before each event popping up on your, your emails. Would that? No, that would be wonderful. That would be. So, just smiling down. <laughs> so, item 14, the date and time of the next regular meeting. Uh, will be Monday the 7th of March and you will get an email saying 7th of March come and get here and hopefully the bid will be here because we need it if they're going to come and work in the town we need them in the events committee.